hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to explain you to, uh, like today we are going to learn about how to do the uh, flat like the, the internal implementation of flat like how flat is working okay so i have taken this example so let us see uh, what will be the output if we are doing the flat of this array so if i do the console.log array dot flat okay if i print this one so you can see in the output we have uh, we have we will get we are getting this output okay so and one more thing if i do again the console in in flat function we can pass it we can pass it one more uh, we can pass a parameter okay so if i pass this param uh, pass a parameter to one so you can see the output of both this uh, console is same okay so why, why why it is same because the reason is the default value of this flat is also one so that's why if we passing one so both the value is same okay if i if instead of one if i will pass here two so now if you see the output the output is gonna uh, like these two are both the output is totally different right so that's the this is uh, this parameter is known as depth okay depth okay so so let's try to implement this one uh, like how the internal uh, internal uh, internal implementation of this flat is uh, uh, has written okay so so let's try to create a function which is, uh, which put the name is poly uh, flat polyfill will be better flat poly okay so first call this function as well polyfill and so let's pass this array okay the above array which we have and take one more example take one more array which gives the name output okay so we are taking this array here and what we we will gonna do uh, we will also pass a parameter which is depth okay such that it is easy to um, it is easy to do like at initially okay so if I pass this depth and here take uh, this depth okay so first what we will do if we are going to uh, iterate this uh, array by using for each loop uh, if and we will also check if the value of this item is an array okay uh, suppose uh, <coughs> Uh, suppose this is the array we will check uh, it's, if it's an array then what we will do we will make another recursive call uh, for to, uh, uh, to, and we will iterate the inside of this value okay like inside this array's value so we have we have a function which is array dot is array which will check whether this item is an array or not if it's an array we will do the recursive call okay so just call this function array and we will just decrease the depth okay such that we uh, such that the value when whenever the value of depth is zero we will just store uh, uh, store the value okay and i also uh, and and i also initialize this depth as a one okay so and uh, and if the if uh, if the item is not an array then we will simply just put uh, uh, push the value in our output array okay output dot push item and one more thing if and here i put if uh, not item sorry depth not equal to zero okay if i save the file uh, okay so just print this output okay if i save this file you can see we have we are getting uh, <coughs> we have uh, i think it's totally different than ours mm like the earlier what we are getting okay so let me just debug depth okay one two three one two three why again same thing oh. okay instead of here i am uh, by mistake i pass this array here i have to pass this item so if i save this file now you can see we are getting the output as the same like uh, like earlier what uh, arr dot flat we have, we have given we are we are getting from arr dot flat right so so earlier uh, currently we have this depth is one okay 
what happen if i put the depth zero what we are getting so we are just getting the our original array right so if i put the depth as 2 so you can see we are just uh, <coughs> uh, in this case we don't have any uh, nested array right so that's the so you can see this is the like internal implementation of flat method so normally we are getting this type of question in interviews so it is better to do before the interview okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video please give a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much